Hey guys, so today I'm doing my part two of my natural hair care products and I did a video on products that kind of condition, hydrate, detangle your hair and then this will be about more kind of styling products and stuff like that. So the first thing that I have is the Caviar Anti-Aging Working Hairspray and this is by Alterna and this is free of parabens, gluten, phthalates, mineral oil, and petroleum. This is a massive bottle of hairspray. I will never use this up, I swear. This is a great hairspray because it's lightweight, so it's kind of like light mist. Let me spray some of this on here. I always get flyaways up on top, but I'm trying to smell it. It doesn't smell like really strong of that like hairspray smell, you know, and you're like, oh, I can't breathe. Um, I like this because it's like an environmental protectant, so sun pollution, environmental, and chemical aggressors can cause hair to age and become difficult to manage. So this helps fight against that and kind of leave a little barrier for your hair. This is a great option if you want a more natural hairspray. Also the Aveda one is amazing. The Aveda Air Control and then the Air Control Force or Force Control, those are both really, really good. Next I have the Inner Sense Quiet Calm Curl Control and it is a, like a cream to define your curls. It has shea butter, wheatgrass, orange oil, rubios tea, rice bran oil, and oat kernel extract. There are no harsh irritating chemicals, sulfates, no artificial fragrances, colors, petrochemicals, PEG, and yeah really good ingredients in here and it smells like oranges. What I do with this is I'll put it in my hair usually when it's wet and I use it as kind of like a, a leave-in balm but it really adds a lot of curl to my hair. A lot of the time if I just let my hair air dry sometimes it'll fall flat. You never know. So this kind of lets me know that I'm going to get some waves in my hair as it air dries and it makes the curls a little bit more like in unison I guess you can say. It also gets rid of frizz so um, if you're just air drying your hair which I do a lot this is good for that and it's just a good moisturizing treatment that'll help your curls. Next I have a dry shampoo and it's by Cure. It's the Argan Stem Cell and CoQ10 Save Water Go Dry for all hair types and this is a powder so you pour it out into your hands, rub it together and kind of massage it into your scalp or you can just pour it in like directly on whatever whatever you want. So it's made with cornstarch, non-GMO, French white clay, oat flour, slippery elm bark flour, argan stem cells, CoQ10, and lavender essential oils and chamomile essential oil. So it's vegan, sulfate free, cruelty free, paraben free, gluten, PG, petroleum, phthalate, silicone, 100% bi 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 biodegradable, I can't talk. Now the question you guys are probably wondering, does it work? Here's the thing. I feel like I want to have this and I want to have my Batiste because the, the Batiste dry shampoo is like so amazing. You spray it in your hair and your hair feels so clean. This stuff, it takes away the oil in your hair but it doesn't give you that feeling because I feel like you're, you're putting powder in your hair, you know? So I used it today just kind of on the front parts of my hair and it did take away that oil but I missed that clean feeling from my uh, Batiste. This will work, it will take the oil out of your hair um, and it is really good and natural but I miss my Batiste. Next I have the Alterna Hemp Organics Ocean Waves Texturizing Spray. I have a lot of texturizing wave sprays as you will see. Uh, this is another great natural product. It's a UVA UVB protectant and has hemp in here, hemp technology. Um, free parabens, synthetic color, phthalates, petroleum, mineral oil, and this smells, what does it smell like? This smells really good. It kind of smells like Sprite, like citrus. I like to use this in, I use it in dry and wet hair, and I just scrunch my hair up. Let's see if, I, if it does anything right now. Um, I feel like it gives me some body, and it just, most texture sprays, wave sprays, They'll just add a little bit more definition to your curls. So they all kind of do the same thing. This one just gives me a little bit more oomph, if you can tell. So it's nice because it's not very crunchy, but it does give you that hold. Let's talk about this while we just talked about that. <laughs> this is the Redken. Um, 
Radiant Sea Spray. So I mentioned this in my last, my colors tag video. This is silicone free and paraben free, but the thing about this one, which is different from this wave spray, is this gives your hair the feeling that it has a little bit of hairspray in here, so it really kind of adds a lot of hold. So if your hair falls very easily, this would be a better one for you because it'll like, it'll just kind of keep those curls lasting longer. But personally, this one I like how it looks better. It's a little bit more like um, natural looking, I guess you could say. This one is more beachy looking. So this is more, you know, your sea salt spray gives you those really PC kind of looking waves. And then speaking of sea salt spray, this is the John Masters Organics sea mist with lavender and it is the only ingredients in here are water sea salt and lavender oil so uh, i know you could make this yourself but i have tried to make my own sea salt spray and it just didn't work i don't know if, what i did wrong but i love it because the lavender oil keeps your hair from not getting too dried out and it just gives you amazing volume let's just i have so much stuff in my hair right now um smells really good it smells just like lavender but it gives you that grit that most um, that like if you go to the ocean and you'll get that kind of grittiness in your hair that's what this will do it kind of gives you it doesn't feel dirty but it just kind of you know what I mean that that sea salt spray gives you a little bit more texture so see that volume you get amazing next I have the Euphora illuminate shine mist and I got this on my wedding day, um, the lady who did my hair, she was using this on me and she just gave me my own bottle. And I love this. It's beautiful. I have it on right now and it just kind of gives you a little bit of shine to your hair without it being really bad for you to inhale. I know a lot of shine sprays have, I, I put it on my phone, volatile organic compounds, VOC or chlorofluorocarbon, CFC. It was kind of hard to find stuff on this company, Euphora, because it's sold in salons. But um, the thing I just kind of found is that they use aloe vera for their ingredients and essential oils. And it is not as bad for you as other shine mists. So um, if any of you guys have more information on this company, let us know in the comments. Next I have the Giovanni Natural Mousse Air Turbocharged Hair Styling Foam. This is a medium to firm hold and it is a just volumizing mousse. So I put this in wet hair after I shower if I want just extra body and volume that day. And when your hair air dries, you get a lot extra lift. If you blow dry your hair, you get more volume. There's no animal testing, no phthalates, artificial fragrance, dyes, or sulfates, parabens, or PEGs. And it's all uh, vegetarian ingredients. So it says it has texture, shine, and... It's not crunchy at all. It gives you very soft volume. You're supposed to shake it up first when you use it, but I love this stuff. And then last, I wanted to mention this. It is the Ion Straightening Solutions Flat Iron Protectant. This is the only flat iron spray that I have that's paraben free. It's also 100% vegan. So I haven't tried any other natural heat protectants yet. So this is, I just wanted to let you know that this is what I'm using right now. Uh, this works. This, the only thing is you have to be very careful with this because it leaves your hair super shiny so you can't use that much or else it's like too much shine going on. So if you guys have a good alternative for a natural heat protectant, let me know in the comments. That'd be awesome. So that is everything for my natural styling products that I use. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and if you have some favorites of different products that you use that are more natural, please leave a comment down below to let not only me know, but everybody else here that's kind of trying to incorporate more natural products into their routine. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.